Dean, a frustrating way to end the season there. What's your take on it? I thought we were terrible. Such a shocking performance. To be I, like, I can't lie to people. You know, I see my eyes, I listen with my ears. And um, our performance today was too many players protecting themselves. They probably know they're leaving the club in the summer. And we've done brilliant, really, uh, from where we took the football club to where it is now. We've done brilliant to get it where it is with, that, with this group of players. And uh, they probably know what's coming. How frustrating was it not to hold on to our lead after going one, one lap so early on? Because obviously they, uh, they, they scored straight after that. We scored a fluky goal. That was our first attempt on goal and they three attempts on ours. We never laid a glove on them until Sam Granville came on. He made a few tackles. No one wanted a tackle. So if I'm being honest, I'm just delighted the game's over and we can just move on to the next season. Um, it's a f- really, really, really poor performance. No one's come out of it with any good light. Missed their front like we always do. Um... Yeah, look, it's just a rubbish, I was going to say a bad word there, but it's a really terrible performance. Does today sort of summarise the second half of the season in the way that we conceded some of the goals? Yeah, summarise the whole season, it summarises really the last two years of the football club, you know. So, um, uh, look, we have to, uh, we've got a busy summer and uh, at the end of the day, look, I take, have to take responsibility as well, but it's been, it's been challenging. And we've done well to get 50 points. Which is a bit frustrated for our supporters, really. It's got to get them a better performance than that. We've done not too bad in the last four games. But it's just... They're miles ahead of us, Bromley. You know? And that's why they're in the trophy final and, and finished. I don't know where they finished. Eight or ninth in the division. And uh, they were miles ahead of us. We congratulate them for that victory. They're just more class, more quality. And a uh, better team. They were men. It was men against boys. We did show a bit of fight and, and scored t- two goals. What, what was your take on them? No, we didn't show enough fight. Uh, first goal was a fluke. Second goal was Rico, strong in the box. Um, I'll be honest with you, the boys are in a major reality check this summer. Now, who's going to take players that have come 18th in this division? There's only one way on. When you've got the skis on in this business, it's difficult. And uh, I just think some of the players just did not do themselves any justice today at all. Um, so yeah so and to be fair it's been an inconsistent season um, we conceded way too many goals and we haven't been able to select the same team week in week out and uh, yeah it's been frustrating there was only four names on the bench today can you explain why that, why that was Sir so hasn't torn up all week I don't know where he's been um, everyone else is injured or supposedly injured um, so look like I said we've done really well um, we've had a lot of different scenarios we've had to work with you know, off the pitch and stuff like that. So we, at the end, <laughs> we ain't got enough players. E- e- Efron's injured. Uh, he's picked up a groin injury in training this week, so he's a lo- he's got a loss. He's a major loss for us. And uh, you know, we just got to get enjoy the summer. Um, I'm so like I say, I apologise to our supporters for today's performance because it's just not acceptable. Really, I'm not going to accept it. And uh, things will change in the summer. Simple as that. Decisions I made on the players they were made months ago. Um, so I've managed to manage the group the best I can uh, we've got a lot of players that don't want to be here that's the truth they don't want to be here um, so we want people that want to be here we don't want players coming to us thinking they're doing us a favour we've too many players thinking they're doing us favours that's the truth of it if we want the truth it's the truth but like I say my job is to make sure I pull everyone together and uh, I'm absolutely buzzing and looking forward to the summer and bringing in players that want to be here You've touched on it in your pre-match interview, but what's, what's your summer going to look like, and, and especially the next few weeks? Yeah, we've got to get over the line with a few contracts. Uh, a few deals need to be done. Adam Murray is going to take his time. He's shopping around. He's, at, he's let his contract run out. That's down to him. Um, what he wants to do, we've made him an offer. Uh, three offers now we've made him, so we're doing our best with that one. That's down to Maz, what he wants to do. But if you perform like you perform today, you won't be getting anything. Um, I don't mean that disrespectfully to Maz, who's a good player, a good pro, uh, low-maintenance player. And he's been excellent for us this year. Um, so, yeah, I think um, the summer's going to be really busy. Really, really busy. Well, I know it's busy. It's been busy already. So, um, so yeah, a lot of players. Uh, there'll be a lot of hot air talked as well from a lot of agents. That, a lot of that goes on. So, we'll just be patient in the market. If we've got to go all the way through to July to sign players, we'll do that. And um, there's a lot of players out of contract. And we'll keep shaking the tree and see what comes out of it. And just huge credit to, to the Barnet fans who have continued to support us all, all season and, and we showed their, um, our appreciation to them um, after the game today. Yeah, we, look, we've got a lot of really good people out here at our football club and the supporters are, are, are very good as well. I know it's been a, you know, sort of a 
a frustrating afternoon for us all, for myself included. Um, that wasn't nice to watch, but I'd like to thank them for sticking with us. And uh, you know, my job now is in the summer is to give them a, a team to be really proud of. Um, and we've got to bridge the gap of clubs like Bromley. Um, it's fair to them, we wish them well in the trophy next week in the trophy final against Wrexham. And uh, there's just no easy games in this division. It's relentless, it's ruthless. And, you know, there's going to be some good sides coming up. There's just some uh, league sides coming down as well in Oldham and Scunthorpe. So it's going to be a very difficult division. Um, but it's challenging and we're looking forward to the challenge. And uh, I want to thank our supporters for sticking by us. And hopefully now we can make some good signings in the summer and, uh, and build a team that stays fit, stays on the pitch and players that want to be here. That's so important. Um, so hopefully we can do that for them and, uh, and sort of challenge on uh, the upper ends of the division next year. Thank you for your time today. Excuse me,